If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There are certain tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hey, 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 it's your girl, Kelly from Black Girl Happy Planner again with another memory keeping tip number three for this week. As I prepare for my memory keeping for busy people class, coming up on October 27th. To register for that, you can visit my Instagram profile page at Black Girl Happy Planner, click on the link in bio, and then click on the Eventbrite link to register. The event is only $5 and you'll get some valuable information on how to start memory keeping. Now the tip for today is to start where you are. Really basic, right? Don't try to be fancy don't have FOMO um, looking at other people's uh, memory keeping or scrapbooking or planner pages online. Just start where you are. If you don't have all the supplies you think you need, you notice I said think. If you don't have all the supplies you think you need, don't go running out buying a bunch of bunch of stuff um, thinking you need this and that because somebody else has this or that or because somebody else told you you needed this or that to do successful memory keeping start where you are I started off as a really basic memory keeper and I still keep it basic keep it minimal I have stickers I have that I need to use I don't need to buy any more stickers right now I need to use the ones I have I have pens pretty pens I have scissors I have a paper cutter if I need to use it. Um, I have a happy planner classic size calendar style, vertical um, style that I use to keep the dates in line and keep my weeks together so that I can document all of the things. Um, And I have a little mini Kodak one shot printer to print pictures. That's it. I don't have a bunch of fancy supplies, embellishments and all that stuff. I'm not a full-fledged scrapbooker. Some people are, and that's great for them. And some people are way more creative than I am. And that's wonderful for them. That's a wonderful skill to have. I'm not, I tried that years ago and I I just wasn't on that level and I wasn't going to get to that level. And so I came to terms with that and understood my limited, uh, my limited skill set in the area of scrapbooking. So when memory keeping came along a few years ago, I was like, oh, I could do that. Um, And I started again, like I mentioned in a previous podcast, I started doing memory keeping in 2020. After my mom passed, I decided to kind of go full on um, as something to kind of keep my mind busy, but also just to start remembering the memories uh, with her and with other family members, as well as with myself and all the adventures and things that I've gone through over the last few years, working in higher education and now working in public school education. A lot of adventures, a lot of shenanigans, a lot of trips and a lot of things over the last few years that I need to document. Not to mention what's going on currently. Um, I like to, as I get older, I'm pushing 50 um, soon, March, hopefully, knock on wood, we'll get to that. Um, But um, I've been trying to track lately current stuff that I'm doing. So we have all these streaming services, right? Do you remember what you watched last week? Some of us, probably not. I'm trying to track all that stuff. Like, what did I watch that that was interesting? What did I listen to? I listened to a lot of podcasts. What did I listen to that was interesting? What did I eat? Um, You know, just kind of trying to keep track of my health as well. Like, what did I eat? Or what did I not eat that I should have eaten this week or that week? I'm trying to keep track of all this stuff, like medical appointments, doctor's appointments. Write this stuff down so you don't forget it. Um basic stuff like for me memory keeping is really basic and minimal what it's about keeping memories um pictures you know simple pictures what did I do this week what are some highlights of what I did it doesn't have to be fancy again 
doesn't have to be fancy. As much as I love Drake's song, She Fancy, huh? I love that song. But your memory keeping don't have to be fancy, huh? Okay, it could be simple, huh? <laughs> All right. So um, just, again, tip, tip number three is start where you are with memory keeping. And if you're interested in memory keeping, I encourage you to sign up and register for my class. Um, the link the link is on Eventbrite. My class is going to take place on October 27th. It's called Memory Keeping for Busy People. And you can visit my Instagram page um, at Black Girl Happy Planner. Click the link in bio, my link tree link, uh, link in my bio. And then you can click from there on the Eventbrite um, event page and register for the event. And again, it's only $5. I look forward to seeing you, some of you in my in my class, and I hope you're getting a lot out of these tips for this week. I'm doing really good too to be podcasting every day this week. That's doing a lot for me because I really I <laughs> I dropped the ball on podcasting several several times. So um, so yeah, so pat on the back for me for this week. So everybody have a great day, and I will hopefully be on podcast tomorrow. Peace.